In module four, we focused on, uh, on systems approach to quality and productivity and how to establish quality and productivity as a business strategy. In module five, we focus on understanding variation. The basis of this module is two quotations, one by Dr. Deming, understanding variation is the key to success in quality and business, and one by Dr. Nelson, the central problem of management in all its aspects, including planning, procurement, manufacturing, research, sales, personnel, accounting, and law, is to understand better the meaning of variation and to extract information contained in variation. If we consider the outcome or the output of a process, that output is subject to or reflects many factors uh, affecting variation. So this is called the fishbone diagram, a cause and effect diagram, and sometimes named after its inventor, Dr. Ishikawa, Ishikawa diagram. In this cause and effect relationship, we'll look at some of the causes that produces this effect. So in a general way, we want to look at what are some of the factors that affect the variability in process. These are some general primary factors as people, material, machines, methods, and environment. For example, under people, training and education, the quality of supervision are very important and have, f have an f effect on the variability of the process. Under materials, working with quality suppliers, consistency of the incoming material, our purchasing um, um, uh, policies all have um, major impacts on the output of the process or the variability in the process. Machines, uh, the maintenance of the machine, the training on, on new machines are, are very important. However, one point that is important to uh, to to point out here is that often we rely heavily on automation as a panacea, as a as a cure all for uh, reducing variation in our processes. Although automation is uh, is a factor, and we have to consider that, but automation alone does not uh, remove the causes of variability. If a process uh, is subject to considerable variability and uh, producing defectives, uh, we have to really look at the causes of that before we proceed with automation. Methods. Um, are, we sub are we involved in continuous improvement or are we um, uh, just allow ab obsolescence to settle and uh, move in so the idea that we've always done it this way. Do we have a standards and a standard operating procedures? These are all contributing factors. If we are involved in continuous improvement, perhaps over time we reduce variability in the process. If we have a standards or standard operating procedures, then also that reduces variability in our processes. The environment of the process or the organization is very important. Are we, do we work in an environment of cooperation or competition? Competition often leads to a win-lose relationship and cooperation leads to a win-win relationship. Is there fear in the environment? Uh, as one of Dr. Deming's uh, 14 points is to drive out fear in the workplace. Fear is a factor that we have to seriously uh, examine, fear in the workplace. Uh, often uh, fear um, destroys communication um, and um, and leads to uh, uh, operators and workers not reporting uh, problems. Uh, is our workplace healthy and, and safe to work? That's also uh, a factor involved in understanding variation in a process. So this is generally some idea, some factors that can contribute to the variability in a process. We can uh, customize these or adapt that to any processes. Originally these were called manpower, materials, methods, and, 
and machines and methods or four M's of a process. Uh, however, this is a generalization of that and also we can adapt this, change this primary factor, secondary factors to uh, examine a particular process uh, relating to a particular workplace. So to better understand, this is a monthly report. Uh, it, this is figure 3.1 from Understanding Variation, Dr. Wheeler's book. The idea is how do you make sense of uh, reports, such reports? And um, perhaps in this case, in process inventory is something that has to be examined. So as Dr. Myron Travis says, managing a company by means of the monthly report is like trying to drive a car by watching the yellow line in the rear view mirror. Essentially, it tells you where you have been, but it won't tell you where you're going. So perhaps the in-process inventory for Department 17 is an area that, that is being examined. So some of the methods of data analysis, perhaps we uh, uh, compare our current uh, in-process inventory to the in July of this year compared to um, July of last year or perhaps July of two years ago or perhaps we compare it to last month so essentially that tells us we were 12 percent above last July 27 percent above July uh, year before that and 47 percent above June this year so obviously there uh, there is variability all the numbers are not the same some numbers are higher and some are lower so the message is explain the change do something in other words explain this uh, uh, movement of these points on this chart explain why this there is so much difference from here to that point from here to that point or comparison of this month to July of this year to June of this year so explain this 40% uh, difference so <clears throat> if you look at the the um, the uh, comparison of the points if we look at the uh, those uh, values we just uh, referred to on a chart uh, obviously there are some uh, uh, movements of points up and down and essentially um, some variability in these uh, in the in, in process inventory so overall if you look at the uh, the entire data set we see here uh, similarly we look at uh, uh, the entire in process inventory for department 17 there are some uh, variability in the in, in this um, in this process now if we plot those points over time a run chart uh, time series you can see the three points that were being compared essentially are pretty much a part of a system of variability uh, and um, and it has to be looked at in that uh, in that uh, context and later on we'll look at um, Schuhart quality control charts this is called an IMR or individual and moving range control charts and as you can see all the data points are within upper and lower control limits of the process and uh, and all we see is random variation or noise in the process so what we'll uh, uh, examine in the next uh, le a few lectures is lectures is that how to extract uh, information in variability in variation and how to use that how to characterize the variation and how to use that for decision making into the future the next couple of uh, slides simply refer to collecting good data and uh, and Schuhart's rules uh, regarding data analysis <coughs>